This is a video recording of the 3D scans taken at um, bridges 67805 and 67806 carrying I-90 over the Rock River near Laverne. Specifically, we're going to be looking at Pier 2 of bridge 67805, the westbound I-90 bridge. Up on screen is a rendering of the 3D scan. Uh, the 3D scan produces a point cloud and this is a visualization of that point cloud. As you can see, each part of the pier has actually been colorized differently for better visualization. The pier stem is colored gray. The pier footing is colored purple. The pier piling are red. And then any debris is colored either brown or a light orange color. The ground elevation or the river bottom elevation is colored by elevation. So the deeper sections are blue and the higher sections are red. I'm going to pan around a little bit and show you um, what this looks like. I'll zoom in. As you can see, um, you can see the pier footing and all of the piling. The piling is exposed all the way through the pier and it's exposed approximately eight feet below the bottom of the footing. Um, in addition, there's also debris noted at Pier 2. Um, there was a tree that was noted uh, or um, shown by District 7 Bridge Forces who tried to remove it. Upstream of the bridge, upstream of that north face, that tree is not uh, as much of a concern. It's not connected to the pier in any uh, way. It's actually looked like it's almost been planted. However, there's other debris that is lodged in between the piling, between piles seven and five, counting from the north face of the pier. We're gonna turn off some of the layers so you can see that a little bit better. As we zoom in here, you can see it appears to be an additional um, log or tree, possibly from the same um, debris loading that occurred um, earlier that deposited that other tree upstream. It is lodged between the piling, um, back between piers, uh, piles um, five through seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, moving from north to south. A couple of other things to note on this rendering. Um, the pier footing, we don't show the front or um, downstream or upstream face of the pier. That's not because it's not there or is in disrepair, but simply because we didn't get a good view of it um, during data collection. We did scan all four piers, so piers one and two of 67805 and one and two of 67806. All four piers had piling exposed, um, varying between eight feet of piling exposure at pile two, um, down to about three to four feet of piling exposure at both piers on bridge 67806. Um, none of the um, bed elevations reached scour critical elevation. Both of these bridges are rated R or scour critical. The scour critical elevation per the plan of action is 1392. So there is at least 15 to 20 feet of additional piling embedded in the ground. Uh, but this condition shouldn't remain in place for um, much longer as we don't want long-term exposure of that piling due to debris concerns and um, piling um, protection concerns. I'd like to thank the District 7 Ma Bridge Maintenance Forces for coming out and helping us do the scanning. They did a great job in particular with um, retrofitting our mount onto their boat. Um, we'd also like to say, thank Collins Engineers for sending us a part that was needed to do these scans in a very short period of time. Thank you.